the city who have the high vote and will host 2030 is Doha. Another sporting victory for Qatar's capital Doha. This time winning the rights to host the 2030 Asian Games, the second biggest multi-sport event after the Olympics. Doha beating Saudi Arabia's capital Riyadh in a vote by the Olympic Council of Asia. Riyadh will host the 2034 edition. This achievement wasn't made just today, but it's the result of 16 years of hard work. We are proud of this historical moment. Today we have won the bid for 2030 and it's no surprise. The wider context of two regional rivals going head-to-head -head in this vote is hard to ignore. Since 2017, Saudi Arabia, along with Bahrain, the United Arab Emirates and Egypt, has imposed a blockade on Qatar. But for both nations, there is more than political point scoring at play. With Qatar already looking beyond the Football World Cup, it will host in two years' time. As we know, Qatar has effectively built a nation um, uh, based upon sport. So a lot of its infrastructure, uh, a lot of its um, urban developments have been connected to the staging of the World Cup. And so it was absolutely crucial, I think, in terms of legacy and in terms of delivering a return on investment for these uh, 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 from its um, uh, various projects to not only deliver the World Cup, but to subsequently also host other mega events. In 2006, Doha held the Asian Games for the first time. It was the starting point of an ambitious plan to make Qatar a global sporting hub. Since then, the country has hosted a series of major events, including last year's World Athletics Championships, and in 2022, the Football World Cup will be coming to Qatar. The nation has made no secret of its desire to one day host an Olympics, with 2032 now looking an increasingly realistic target. Andy Richardson, Al Jazeera, Doha.